children this is video 2 of part 1 measurement in this video you will learn about measurement of mass and measurement of capacity you will also learn how to do the activity the subject enrichment activity based on this lesson now children let us learn about measurement of mass and measurement of capacity also we will learn about relating different units and then we will learn to convert one unit to another in measurement of mass we have two units we will learn about kilograms and grams kilograms are bigger than grams here grams is the basic unit of measurement of mass now let us relate these two units the relation between these two units is 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams or 1000 grams make 1 kilogram. Next, let us learn about conversions. To convert kilograms into grams, kilograms are bigger and grams are smaller. So, to convert from bigger to a smaller unit, we will multiply as we have learnt in measurement of length the same rule we will apply but which number we have to multiply to check that the relation 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams so we multiply with 1000 to convert from kilograms to gram next to check the other way from grams to kilograms how will we do the conversion smaller to a bigger unit grams are smaller and kilograms are bigger so to convert from smaller to a bigger unit we divide we divide by thousand because the relation is thousand here next let us learn about measurement of capacity in measurement of capacity the two units we learn about are liters l and milliliters ml here liters are bigger and milliliters are smaller liter is the standard or the basic unit of measurement of capacity now let us learn about the conversions before we learn the conversions let us see the relation between liters and milliliters one liter is equal to thousand milliliters or thousand milliliters make 1 liter to convert from liters to milliliters liters are bigger and milliliters are smaller we use the bsm rule big to small multiply multiply with which number the relation is 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters so we have to multiply with 1000 to convert from liters to milliliters the other way to convert from a smaller unit to a bigger unit milliliters are smaller than liters so to convert from milliliters to liters we have to divide divide by the relation which is thousand so we divide by thousand to convert from milliliters to liters now children we will do some examples in converting different units of mass and units of capacity. First, let us learn how to do or how to convert the units in measurement of mass. For that, let us recollect the relation. The relation is 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams or 1000 grams make 1 kilogram. In measurement of capacity, the relation is 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters or 1000 milliliters make 1 liter. After knowing the relations, you should know the rules. The rule is that big to small multiply the BSM or the SBD rule. Here in these two conversions that is in measurement of mass or in measurement of capacity, since you have only one relation, either you will divide by 1000 or multiply with 1000 when will you multiply with 1000 when you check that you have to convert from a bigger unit to a smaller unit you will multiply 
by 1000 or when you have to divide you will check whether it is smaller to a bigger unit in that case you will divide by 1000 so let us see some examples first one 5 kilogram is equal to how many grams here kilograms to grams bigger to smaller unit if you have to convert from a bigger to a smaller unit BSM rule you have to apply you have to multiply since the relation is only one one kilogram is thousand grams we will multiply with thousand so five kilogram into thousand is equal to five thousand grams 2.05 kilogram is equal to dash gram so 2.05 kilograms again kilograms to grams you have to multiply multiply by thousand here so when you multiply a decimal number with 1000, the point, decimal point will move towards the right to three places. So the answer is 2050 grams. 836 gram is equal to how many kilograms? Here in the quest, in question 3, the relation is we have to convert from grams to kilogram. The relation is the same. 1 kilogram is 1000 grams. So, we have to divide. We will use the SBD rule here. Small to big, divide. Divide by 1000. When you divide by 1000, here 836, the decimal point is after 6. The decimal point in division will move towards the left. Since it is 1000, division by 1000, the point will move to 3 places towards the left. So, the answer will be 0 0.836 kilogram. Fourth question, 7425 grams is equal to dash kilogram. Here it is grams to kilogram, small to big. Small to big, you have to divide. Divide by 1000, the point is after 5, it will move towards the left to 3 places. So the point will be after 7 in the answer, 7.425 kilograms. Here please note that. 7.425 kilograms means it is the whole number part shows the kilograms and the decimal part shows the grams. Question number 5, 15.5 kilogram is equal to how many kilograms and how many grams. To know this, as I said, the whole number part shows the kilograms and the decimal part denotes the grams. So it is 15 kilograms and 500 grams 0.5 kilograms is nothing but 500 grams next let us do some examples in measurement of capacity conversions in measurement of capacity question number one 0 0.3 liters is equal to how many milliliters liters to milliliters the relation is one liter is equal to thousand milliliters from liters to milliliters, it is BSM rule we have to apply. So big to small, multiply. Multiply with 1000. The point will move towards the right to 3 places. So it will be 300 milliliters. Second question, 4.25 liters is equal to how many milliliters? Liters to milliliters, again it is multiply, BSM. So multiply with 1000. When you multiply with 1000, you will get 4250 milliliters the point will move towards the right to three places question number three 4000 milliliters is equal to how many liters here it is small to big milliliters are smaller you have to convert to liters so to convert from smaller to bigger unit sbd rule you have to apply so you will divide by thousand here when you divide by 1000, the point is at the end after 4000. It will move towards the left to 3 places. So it will be 4.000 liters or just 4 liters. Question number 4, 8450 milliliters is equal to how many liters? 8450, here smaller to bigger unit. So you will divide, divide by thousand the point will move towards the left to three places so the point will be placed after eight eight point four five zero liters fifth question 
10.750 liters <coughs> here liters will denote the whole number part that is 10 10 liters and the decimal part is 750 which denotes the milliliters so 10 liters and 750 milliliters so children learn the relations thoroughly and also learn the rules so that it will be easy for you to do any conversion of units children in this lesson unit 11 measurement based on conversion of units you have subject enrichment activity 1 this is the first activity of this term second term the activity is that find the height and weight of five members of your family and fill up the table as shown below first you will write the names of the family members then height in meter and centimeter in the first column then height in meters only in meters in the second column in the third column only in centimeters the height is written in to be written in centimeters next weight you have to write first in the first column in weights you will write in kilograms and grams separately then only in kilograms there is a bigger unit and last column you will write the weight in grams note Sarah's height and weight is given as example in the above table now let us have a look at Sarah's height and weight in different units here in the place of Sarah you can include your name because you have to write five members of your family their heights and weights so Sarah's height in meter and centimeter is 1 meter 35 centimeters next in meters in bigger unit it is 1.35 meters so remember in meters the whole number part represents meters and the decimal part represents centimeters so there will be two places in the decimal part because of the relation the relation is 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters so since 100 has two zeros there will be two places in the decimal part next in centimeters in centimeters when you convert from meters to centimeters you have to multiply multiply with 100 because the relation is 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so when you multiply you will get 135 centimeters next let us check Sarah's weight Sarah's weight in kilogram and gram 32 kilogram 250 gram in bigger unit in the second column of weights 32.250 so please note 32 represents kilograms and 250 represents grams so it is the decimal place represents the smaller unit and the whole number part represents the bigger unit and the decimal part represents the smaller unit when you convert kilograms to grams the relation is 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams and the rule is big to small big to small you will multiply when you multiply with 1000 the point will move towards three places towards the right so the answer in grams is 32,250 grams so with the help of this example fill up the height and weight of other members of your family dear students this is the homework of unit 11 measurement complete these questions in the textbook itself before we end let us have a recap in measurement of length we have learned four units kilometers meters centimeters and millimeters in measurement of mass we have learned two units kilograms grams in measurement of capacity we have learned two units liters and milliliters other than these there are other units also but these are the units which we use in our daily lives and learn the relations also 
1 cm is 10 mm, 1 meter is equal to 100 cm, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So using these relations and the rules which we learnt in the previous slides, you will be able to convert one unit into another. With this we come to the end of this session. Thank you children.